The very thing that seems powerful to me that Emmett Fox would preach is of course this concept that we should change our mind about something and then keep it changed. Now, initially this sounds easy, but it's actually easier said than done for numerous reasons. But if we could grasp that if any situation that we're facing is bothering us, if I could change my mind about it and keep it changed, then the situation will eventually also transform into something different. If we can grasp this main point, then we're off to a good start. Then we'll be able to actually make some stuff happen. But there are certain elements here that make it perhaps troublesome for some of us to apply this consistently. But I think we can condense this very rapidly into just one word, habit. You see, if it's a habit for you to live in the manner as Emmett Fox would suggest, you would always be able to change your circumstances around regardless of the nature of the circumstance itself. That is the power of your consciousness. Now, we're confronted with the fact that in most cases, for most people all over, it's not really a habit to use their minds in this manner. It's more of a habit to let the circumstances control their mind. And so therefore they actually spiral back and forth between what they want, what they desire and where they're at. And they're not really progressively growing in any direction. They're like stuck. We all know what it's like to be stuck. It's not fun. You feel like you want to improve something, but you, at the same time, you feel like I can't make it happen. But all this stuff you can change around if you change your mind and keep it changed. So the power behind Emmett Fox's material, in my opinion, is just the really simplicity of testing the idea for yourself. How am I thinking about any particular area of my life? Is it in a good way? Is it in a bad way? Or am I totally indifferent about a certain area? Whatever it is, you can take your finances or career goals or relationships, it doesn't matter. But you're going to discover if you analyze your own mind that you are thinking about it in a particular manner. Now, the more you become aware of how you're thinking about it, the more you also be able to perceive when you're thinking about it negatively. Because this happens so unconsciously for most people. They just assume, well, I'm forever going to be poor. I'm never going to make a dime with what I love to do. Right? That's what they think. They don't realize that they're thinking it. Imagine that. It's just automatic. Why? Because it's a habit. Now, to turn this hab habitual way of thinking that you are doing into something better. Create a better habit pattern or thought until it starts to operate unconsciously with and through yourself. Well, then you'll be able to improve your life regardless of where you're at. That is the beauty of what I've seen in his material over the years, as I kept analyzing it, kept studying it, kept experimenting with it for myself. Every time I get confronted with the fact that it's true, it is my own mind that is determining the results in my life. Now, if the results are not what I want them to be, I know it's because my mind is not in harmony with something better than what I am currently getting. So once I can perceive in my consciousness something better that I want and start to habitually think about it, start to habitually feel what that would be like, feel the nature of that dream, how joyous I would be if it was a reality, well then it starts to change my reality around slowly but surely. And it's not even something I have to worry about like, oh, will I achieve this goal tomorrow or next week? You just let it up to the universe. You're like, I'm going to just focus on getting my mind to be in harmony with my dream through changing the way I think about it and then keeping it changed in a more productive and optimistic manner. Really analyze it for yourself because it's so easy to fall into the trap of old habits where you might not be doing it and then you don't realize you're not doing it and then you start to feel bad and stuff starts to stagnate and here we are stuck in a rut. But then we can get out of it again by changing our mind and keeping it changed. See, it's actually such a simple thing. As we said, it's easy to grasp, but it's not necessarily easy to do at the same time. Why? Because of these old habits. They kind of want to drag you back into old behavior that is perhaps not in alignment with these teachings. But as you reprogram your mind every day by contemplating this new way of living, then you'll be able to do it as well more effectively as you keep training it. It will reach a point where it becomes habitual for you to approach any area of your life and be like, okay, let me change my mind about this situation. I don't care what the results are telling me right now. I know the results are a reflection of the way I was thinking in the past. So let me now change my thinking so that the results can change around as well. But of course, 
it's not just your thinking that's going to change your results. It has to become a strong subconscious conviction and belief that you can change something. But you can program yourself into that through daily repetition. By practicing daily to relax yourself and contemplate your dream and really feel faith and build a conviction that I can do this. I can do it. I will do it. I am on my way of doing this. I can feel it. You start to feel it so deeply throughout your entire being that it overrides the old habitual way of thinking and that's when it attracts new circumstances into your life. I hope you'll test this out for yourself because it is absolutely amazing once every human being on the planet would learn this. There were so many conflicts would stop happening amongst people but also so many conflicts within our individual lives will drop away. Isn't that what we want? We want happiness, peace of mind, health. You know, to be joyous, to be successful, or at least to feel that what we're doing is worth something, that it is amounting to something. I mean, nobody wants to do stuff that they feel like it's not worth anything or not doing anything for anyone in the planet. That's ridiculous. Why would you want to live like that? We subconsciously don't even want to live like that. We have this compulsion to want to do something great with our lives. And we can do that by learning to change our mind and keeping it changed in the direction of our dreams. And this takes discipline in order to turn it into a habit now discipline then means doing this daily working on this consciously daily even if it's boring or even if you feel like it's not doing anything for you you have to reprogram your subconscious mind through this activity on a daily basis because that's how you were programmed from birth anyway your subconscious mind was programmed through repeatedly hearing and being taught certain things by your parents and people around you and then you know you automatically start to develop them into a habit and they turn into a subconscious belief about yourself now start to create a belief about yourself that you can do whatever it is that you want to do where you want to go with your life where do you want to go with your life keep thinking about that keep thinking in that direction allow yourself to dream and then make it a subconscious conviction that you can make this happen Totally relax the body. Imagine the dream in as much detail as you can, but you have to feel the nature of the dream. When we say this, we mean that if you were to realize something, you would feel a certain way about it. Probably joyous, happy, excited, enthusiastic. You finally found new purpose to your life. Your life finally has gotten meaning, perhaps. Well, have all these feelings already rise up from the depths of your being. Again, this is easy if you first relax the body, you can make, become better at it in general as you keep practicing this, regardless of whether you relax it or not. But as you keep doing this, that's what actually makes it pro reprogram your subconscious beliefs. Because it's ultimately those feelings. If they're very strong in a negative direction, even if you try to think positive, you'll always notice that you're not able to act on these positive, or I mean these positive thoughts. So if you let me repeat that. If your feeling is very negative, which is a subconscious compulsive force, while your conscious mind is thinking positively, you're never going to feel like doing anything. But if you can change that around, if the feelings are strong and optimistic and full of faith and conviction that you can do something and you think it, then you also gain this power, this ability to actually make stuff happen for yourself and your life. You attract the things you need and you also be compelled and inspired to go in the directions that you need to go in order to make it happen. This can happen very subtly, but it can also be very obvious, like obvious signs all of a sudden, but it doesn't matter. The main point to remember is that you have to change your mind and keep it changed. If that is the one takeaway you can learn from Emmett Fox, then you'll be able to improve anything in your life. Because you're working with the primary source of the quality of your life, which is your own consciousness so as always dear viewer never forget that we are the dreamers